Next is a framework for building view-based full-stack web applications. And in this course we will build Next application from scratch. We will be using an existing markup, which was created with Tailwind CSS. This is how the main page of the application looks like. We also have page with a list of playlists, as well as the page which shows the details of the particular playlist. And besides that, we're also going to have pages for registration and authentication. And by the way, there is a separate playlist where we build all these pages by using Tailwind CSS, including responsiveness as well as applying of the dark theme. I'm going to leave a link to this playlist in the video description. So let's start with an installation to install the Next project. I'm going to copy this command and run it in the terminal. Here we also have to specify the folder name where a new Nux project will be created. Here we need to also install package called Nuxy. Let's press yes for confirmation. Then we can choose package manager. I'm gonna go with npm. I will also create git repository and once the installation is done, let's switch into newly created folder Nuxt code editor. And from here we can start the development server by running npm run dev. And the Nuxt application will be available in the browser under the address localhost 3000. And this is how the default page of the Nuxt application looks like at the moment. Next we're going to integrate this markup into our Nuxt application. To do so I'm going to switch over to the repository of the original markup. In here let's open up index.html which contains the markup of the main page. And I'm basically going to copy over the whole content and move it into the next application. I will be using Visual Studio Code as an editor. Let's open up the root component called app.view. This is the place where I'm going to paste just copied markup so we can fully replace an existing content within this file. But the thing is that this component is not supposed to contain HTML head and body tags. But we actually reference a bunch of stuff from within this head element, including Tailwind CSS. So what we will do now is we will basically remove HTML head and body tags. We'll keep only the content within the body. And now we will have to include all the things that have to be present inside the head element in a different way, in particular by using next.config.ts file. So from here we can describe what external scripts as well as style sheet we'd like to include on the page. But before that if we'll switch over to the browser we can see that we get an error, because in the markup we are referencing the following image which does not exist in the project yet. So let's get back to the original repository with the markup. And from here I'm going to download an image with the name of editor.png. And now we'll have to add this image inside the public folder of our application. I'm gonna drag this image and drop it into public folder. And it's important that this image should be called editor.png because we are using such name from within the markup to reference this image. Alright, at least now we no longer see that error related to an image. Next one, we will have to assign one class to the body element, because if we we'll take a look at the original markup, we can see in here that the body tag has dark bg gray 800 class. And since we don't have access to the body element, from within our main component app.view, we will have to assign this class by using configuration option. So right here let's create a couple of nested objects such as app, head and body authors. And this body authors object is going to contain attributes of the body element. So I will use one class property to specify classes for the body element and include one class with the name of dark bg800. 
and then next is going to read this configuration and automatically assign this class to the body element. And there we go, as you can see this class has been added to the body element. Next one, I'm going to add title tag within the head element. And to add this tag, we only have to add key with the name of title and specify proper title for the project. And right after doing this, let's open up head element. And here we're seeing the title tag. Let's get back to the original markup. Here we're seeing that we include custom font from the Google Fonts servers by using the link tag. So let's reproduce the same thing in our project. I'm going to add link array in here with only one element. We will specify attributes for this link tag, such as rel, as well as href. And this href attribute is supposed to contain the address of the font that we use. So I'm going to paste link to the font. Let's get back to the browser and make sure that the head element now contains link tag where the font is included. On the next step, we're going to include Tailwind CSS script. It is included as a normal script, so let's just copy this address, switch over to our configuration file, create new script array and specify one element in here with an attribute src that is supposed to contain the address of the script. Let's paste the address of Tailwind CSS script in here. But besides this external script, we were also configuring Tailwind CSS by using Tailwind configuration object, as you can see here. So I will take all this declaration, move it in our next configuration file. And as another entry in this array, I'm going to create new object with a key in the HTML, because this time, instead of including external script, we're basically adding inline script in here. And by the way, Next automatically refreshes page in the browser whenever we modify source files, including this configuration file. And in the browser, as you can see, Tailwind CSS styles have been applied, but not all, because in the original markup, we have included a couple of custom classes that are based on Tailwind CSS classes. So I'm gonna have to add another tag onto our page with this content. Let's copy all these definitions and also don't forget to include type attribute with a value of text Tailwind CSS. To include style tags, I'm gonna add another key in here, style, which will be an array, basically the list of style elements that we have to include. We need only one style element, which is supposed to have type attribute with a value of text Tailwind CSS and inline content. Inline content we're specifying by using inner HTML property. So I have pasted all our custom class definitions that I've copied from the original markup. And we know that those custom classes have been applied by looking at the shadow behind this image, because without those classes, this shadow was missing. So we have basically reproduced the same content within the head element as in the original markup by using next configuration file. And by the way, for now we can ignore this TypeScript error that is highlighted in here. Anyway, we're going to modify this part of configuration in the future lessons. And lastly, I'm going to enable dark mode by assigning dark class to the body element right here. So just because original markup supports dark mode, we can easily toggle this dark class and this way light and dark themes will be switching. And this is it. We have successfully installed Next application and done all necessary preparation before development link to the repository of this project, as well as link to the playlist where we have built the original markup for this project by using Tailwind CSS will be in the video description.